We okay. are live. We are live. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great, <man. laughs> well, nice to meet you. Uh, what is your name? My name is Mensa Frempon. Men Mensa? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. That's a mark of intelligence. That's that's cool. Mensa. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, uh, I, okay, now I think I, someone wrote out your name. That's fantastic. Uh, so Mensa, yeah, cool. Like the High IQ Society. That's wonderful. Okay, cool. All right. Well, uh, I am uh, Matt Lally, and um, yeah, I guess uh, I'm just kind of browsing through some of these um, some of these pictures, and uh, yours caught my eye because it kind of I thought of Scrub Daddy, and then I also thought about the mess in my kitchen sink. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's what caught my eye really. But before I before I uh, ask you any questions, let me just briefly talk about what what's going on today. I'm, I'm supposed to give a little bit of a talk about um, the pitchathon. So we've been trying to break a record number of pitches in a day, and I think we've done it. I think we've done it quite easily, actually. Um, so uh, hopefully this is not the last one. Let's try and break our own record. Let's keep breaking the record today. Uh, but anyway, Pitch Investors Live lets you connect with uh, lets entrepreneurs and investors from around the world connect with each other. And, uh, you know, there's no reason you should have to bump into someone in Silicon Valley to, to get money or get uh, uh, people to help you with whatever. So anyway, let's do it, man, sir. Um, so uh, tell me, please tell me about your project. Tell me about yourself. I'm, I'm interested. Okay, give me a sec, one minute, I should have to what something here. Okay. Okay. So guys, uh, I, have to, I have to make my excuses. Yeah. I have an African gray parrot in the corner of my, uh, my house, and it's going to interrupt as much as possible. So just please ignore the high, high pitch uh, tones. <laughs> Not to worry. Yeah, that is good. All is good. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, my name is Mensa uh, Frimpon, as I mentioned to you. Actually, originally I was born in Ghana. Mm. Uh, so I did a postgraduate uh, diploma, master's in Ghana, then traveled to South Africa, mm. uh, spent some time in South Africa, Johannesburg, mainly, mm -hmm. uh, where I raised a family, uh, did another master's program, and there I authored a book, as I'm showing you here. Mm. As you can see. This is your book? <laughs> oh. How awesome is that? That's cool. <laughs> Looks like me, eh? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Uh, I authored a book to help uh, uh, development in the world. And then I came to United States to do MBA. And uh, I'm currently working here. Now, this idea uh, about a sponge that I'm about to talk to you about, uh, actually came from the wife uh, who has spent some time in the kitchen <laughs> and uh, <laughs> she realized that uh, in the kitchen the women are struggling. Uh, why are they struggling? Because uh, look, the kitchen sponge, uh, the sponge holders that are present in the kitchen, you realize that the attachment to the sink, okay? Yeah. They keep one or two sponges. And as a result, they're always developing bacteria and then smelling and all that. Look at this disgusting thing right here. Like, I don't, want that, I don't want that anywhere near anything that goes anywhere near my feet, my food. Or really, I don't feel good about touching it. So <laughs> That is the reality in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so then uh, we thought of an idea of actually coming up with the sponge holder that is completely isolated from the kitchen. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm demonstrating to you here. I don't know whether you can see it. All right. So this is the product itself. Okay. Have you seen it? Uh, can you okay. move it back from the camera slightly, please? Okay. Yeah. 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 I can. I can see. Okay. Yeah. So what you see is, is this bottom tray. And then we have a, a hidden tray here. Uh -huh. Water collects from this bottom tray. You can take it completely and then throw it, okay? Mm. And then bring it back. Okay. Okay. Well, so you keep your sponges here. 
mm -hmm. is being held in air. As a result, it's always being aerated and then there is no bacteria infection. We've made provision for larger sponges like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. That you can, you can stick it here. Mm. So the idea is really to keep it away from the water. That's the main idea, it seems like. And, and yeah. the other stuff in this tank. Okay. You and can see the, the soap that you, you can also keep here. And mm -hmm. then the napkin. And then the brushes and all that. So you have everything here. And you can completely keep it uh, away from the sink. Cool. And are you selling any, have you sold any of these or is this uh, pre-production or what's the, what's the deal with that? Yeah, this is pre-production. Uh, the, the plant is actually in, uh, in China. So I am doing a third party manufacturing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I did the design and then I gave them, they produce this and it is ready to produce and scale to virtually every household in the United States. Mm. Yep. Do you have a, uh... Would you do the marketing or do you have someone helping you with the marketing? Uh, I will help with the marketing, but I also have other people to do help me with the e-marketing and all that. Some people have offered to do that, uh, do to help have, me. Do you have any experience with marketing these kinds of products? I will say I don't have too much experience in it. I have experience in industrial marketing. Uh, I'm a mineral economy, but not a retail marketing. Mm -hmm. wow. Um, hmm, my suspicion is that this is, uh, see, for me, I, for, I'm no master marketer myself, I'll say that. I, thankfully, I have uh, some business partners who are fantastic marketers, so, uh, but I, I, I like building stuff. Um, but I'm very interested in anything that, that uh, is a hit in the kitchen, but I'm also... <laughs> not really sure what makes a hit in the kitchen, if I'm being really honest. So I think before I were to get really involved in this, I'd want to see, I'd want to hear from someone who had experience selling these things. Um, or not, I mean, obviously not selling this, but selling something targeted at you know, people who are in the kitchen or people who are trying to make their kitchen work more efficiently. Have you pitched Kevin? Kevin Harrington? Yeah. You did? Uh, I have not pitched him yet. Mm -hmm. What I did was I sent him a message uh, through LinkedIn. And uh, he indicated that certainly based on my background and this product, he wants to meet me. But uh, he has not had the opportunity to uh, to meet me. Uh, last week, I was in Las Vegas. Uh -huh. And uh, he, came to, yeah, he came to launch, uh, I think, uh, this pitch. Uh, yes. Briefly, I saw him, but there was no opportunity to really kind of uh, meet him formally. He's super busy. Yeah. He's a he's a incredibly busy man. The the only uh, I mean, the good one of the good things about this app is that he often takes pitches from you know various places. I think I've seen him take a pitch from a plane before takeoff. So um, <laughs> that's that's one of the reasons I think he likes it. But um, uh, okay, I think I think. Someone like Kevin needs to hear this pitch. Um, I mean, I don't know what his level of interest is, but this is someone like him who has experience selling to uh, people, you know, for household is probably a better fit than me. I would love to, I would love to be of some kind of assistance, but I honestly, I, I'm not sure I have competence in this area. Um, so, and, and another, uh, there are some other people you might, talk to as well maybe some of the um e-commerce guys um who are yeah. on this app because they do yeah. have experience selling these kinds of things um so so frank frankly to to be very clear i i have to pass on this one but i do oh. appreciate the opportunity to meet you and uh and it, it seems like a it seems like a cool um uh, well it's not cool but it's a it's a um it's a needed i mean it's a big problem in the kitchen that needs fixing i mean our, that sponge in my kitchen is just disgusting so we're going to do something about that and uh, and uh, if you uh, if you put up a product page i will try and uh, I'll, I'll have a look at it and maybe buy one or something like that so we people on here who might be interested
Yeah, I mean, like uh, uh, this guy, Damien, who is also coordinating this, has offered to help me with the e-marketing aspect. I reached out to, yes, and I also reached out to QVC. They asked me to sort of uh, complete their profile, my profile, and I'm engaging with them. So I've taken a few steps to actually uh, work on the marketing aspects. This guy, kind of that's it. Wonderful. Well, um, you know, if, you, if you're thinking about working with Damien, I... I love Damien. He's fantastic. And, uh, you know, he will, you know, maybe if he, if he, uh, starts working with you and, and, uh, wants to rope me in somehow, I'd be happy to, uh, to have another discussion around that. But I think, uh, for now I will, I will pass and just say thanks very much for your time. You seem like a lovely bloke and, uh, maybe we'll talk again. And if not, I'm sure I'll see you on here. Okay, I also appreciate you talking to me. I mean, it's fantastic to see you. Uh, so, yeah, Thanks. I appreciate you. Thanks, Mensa. You're awesome. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.